Hello, welcome back to another video. Uh, today I have some footage I'm going to review of a swimmer that posted in the Facebook group and uh, he is trying to do breaststroke for the first time and uh, he is 77 years old. Fun fact, age does not matter when it comes to swimming, in my opinion, okay? You can learn swimming if you're two years old or 99 years old doesn't really matter, okay? Fundamentally, it's all about breathing and technique. All right, you don't need strong muscles. You don't need to be an Olympic swimmer. No, you just need to know the basics, okay? So I'm gonna break it down. I've never seen this video footage before. So let's take a look, here we go. It looks pretty good for our first attempt. Uh, here's my feedback. First of all, he's wearing the proper swim attire. That's good. So he's wearing goggles, he's wearing uh, speedos, and uh, yeah, he's ready for battle, okay? So don't have to worry about that. Second thing I noticed is he's practicing in the shallow end. Good! You, don't, you do not need to swim in the deep end in the first one to three months of your journey into swimming, no. Deep water is like trying to learn how to drive for the first time on a highway during rush hour. You don't need to do that. You, you, start, you start off in an empty parking lot, like most of us. So same thing goes with swimming. You practice in the shallow end, and he's practicing in a quiet environment, which is good. Uh, if there were kids around him, if there were like lots of families and a lot of noise and background music and all that ambience, it would be pretty intimidating. A quiet time to practice at his local pool. That's good. Now, the actual stroke itself, he's trying to do three things at once, okay? Now, when you try to do a stroke, you try to break it down into pieces. Breaststroke is a very, very uh, difficult stroke to get a, get a hold of. For a beginner because the rhythm is so distinct right front crawl is very straightforward one two three breathe one two but breaststroke has a very elegant movement to it that you won't understand in the beginning and it takes many 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 years to finally really understand the timing of breaststroke in particular and the breathing and the whole body in motion when you put it all together it's yeah it's like trying to you know conduct a symphony versus front call is like trying to play a pop song okay so hats off to this guy he, he's trying to put it all together you know in one go but here's a more efficient way to break down breaststroke if you want to do breaststroke uh, my advice to him would be to learn front crawl first because it's a lot easier but anyways let's get to the point of breaststroke First of all, what I would recommend that he practice working on are the breaststroke arms, okay? So if you've never seen breaststroke arms, you're gliding, you have to practice your glide first, okay? So when we do the breaststroke glide, it's just like, like the first lesson in swimming, you push off a wall and you go and you spear the water like an arrow. You turn your body into a giant arrow and you just let that momentum carry you forward. Okay, that's the first thing you need to learn. Spear the water, hands together, spear it, head down, tucked, getting into that glide. So before you even learn breaststroke, learn how to glide, is what I'm saying. Learn how to front glide properly. Okay, hands together, nice and tight, everything tight, compact, like an arrow, okay? Head down, ears near the shoulders, body straight, legs straight, legs together, all that good stuff, okay? And just shoo, efficiently just carry your body using the momentum of the water. That's the first thing you need to learn, okay? Because that glide is about 50% of the breaststroke, you know? Once you pull off the breaststroke, 
one, when you pull off one breaststroke, the other 50% is just you gliding. All right? So you breaststroke, and then you glide. Now, a lot of people, you know, when they see competitive swimmers, they don't see that glide because, you know, because they're competitive swimming. Their, their goal is to swim from one end to the other as fast as possible and beat the competition. So they, they kind of eliminate the glide and just, just keep propelling themselves forward. But if you want to really take advantage of the breaststroke, you need to incorporate the glide. Right? Sometimes I even like extend my glide as much as possible because I don't know if I'm feeling lazy or I just want to just relax and just let the water do most of the work for me. You can do that with breaststroke, but you can't do that with front crawl because you got to keep moving your arms. So when you do the breaststroke glide, I extend it to like 60, sometimes 70% further than normal. But 50% is pretty much, you know, it's the go-to, right? Shh, glide. Okay, so work on your front glide first, okay? So how you work on the front glide, you can hold the kickboard out in front, like this, to the sides, and just push off the wall, okay? Push off the wall and glide. That's the first thing you need to learn. Once you've mastered the front glide, where you're just gliding on the wall, you're pushing off, and you, you just end up like, I don't know, five to seven meters away from the wall, then you're ready to move on to the next step. And the next step is to pull with the arms. Okay, so you're pulling efficiently. This is what you look like in breaststroke, okay? Do you see my elbows? Nice and straight like this. Okay, this is efficient right here. Okay? Now, it looks like a scarecrow, you know, like in the fields. Yeah. The rule of thumb is you do not extend beyond your chest with the breaststroke pull. Okay, so what I mean by that is, I don't go further than this. This is as far as I go. You see my hands? You see my fingers twiddling? This is as far as it goes. If I go beyond like that, I'm going into butterfly mode. And you don't want to go into butterfly mode because that's really taxing, okay? But that's, that's another story, okay? So, you pull, and you go up to your chest. This is as far as you go, and then, you slowly bring your fingers together, like this. See my hands? Slowly bring my fingers together and spear. That's the motion of the breaststroke pull with the arms. Breaststroke up. And fingers, see my fingers attaching together? And then boom! I want to shoot out like an arrow, right? When you draw the arrow, boom, right? That's what you're doing with the breaststroke arms. You're like loading your bow and arrow, right? Nobody shoots a bow and arrow like this. Doing, 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 doing. No. They pull, aim, and then fire. The same thing goes with the breaststroke arms. You pull, you aim, and then you fire. Okay? So you don't want to go like a, like a seesaw like that in the water because that's just too tiring. Okay, it's, it's a very graceful motion, just drawing the bow, <clears throat> drawing the bow slowly, like this, aim, fire. Okay, that's step two. And step three would be the whip kick, but I'm not going to go into that in this video, because that's enough homework for now. All right, those two things alone, the front glide and working on the breaststroke arms, is going to take you about two to three months to really learn if you dedicate yourself to about two to three times a week in the pool practicing like seriously practicing all right and the front kick I'm sorry front glide with the kickboard and with a breaststroke you're just gonna try to do it with flutter kick and this is why we learn front crawl first because when we do front crawl we learn how to do the front crawl arms front crawl legs aka flutter kick so when I'm practicing breaststroke arms, just breaststroke arms, my legs are doing this and my arms are doing this. So you can imagine what my body looks like. Ba ba bum dong 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 and I'm doing this. Uh, one pro tip that I recommend is wearing a flotation belt 
around your waist, okay? The flotation belt will increase your buoyancy and it'll make it a lot easier for you to flutter kick and stay along the surface of the water, okay? So practice that. This drill, flutter kick, jong, 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 jong. On the arms, wearing a flotation belt. And that's my feedback for this gentleman. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below or better yet, join our Facebook group where you can post footage of your swimming just like he did. And uh, yeah, you get free feedback from me and uh, other swimmers from around the world. Okay, so that's all I have to say for now. Uh, thanks for watching. My name is Justin and I'll see you in the next video. Take care and bye.